We're back, and we've picked up a new person, uh, Ar uh, Arena. She's a archer type. She uses long bows and short bows, and she has water and light spells. Of course, I upgrade everybody's stuff, and uh, now we're at another midpoint. <laughs> Damn it! Useless body! Move! No, I still have things to do. Tage? Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. You're a heretic, right? Huh? I'm sorry, but according to church law, all heretics must be killed. Seriously. Wh what? I don't even know who you are. And wh where's your proof that I'm even a heretic? I'm a human. Why do you have silver hair? Why do you hide your neck behind that scarf? It's cold. Th that's... Look, I don't know why you've come here. But now that I've seen you, I can't let you leave. The Church of Aldia has strict policies on dealing with heretics. That's it! I'm tired of your narrow-minded church! I'm tired of the Majin telling me I have cursed blood! <sighs> what do I do? Do I fight her? Don't worry, it'll all be over real quick. If you're going to attack me, don't expect me to go down quietly! It's been a while, Ashley. Tage! Did you just say, Tage? What are you doing here, Ashley? Are you really Tage? The boy's my servant. I own him. You weren't trying to damage my property, were you? This heretic's with you? You've got to be kidding, right? Is there a problem with my choice of companions? Tage, you know he's a heretic, right? His kind will bring misfortune to our world. He needs to be executed. You don't have the right to judge this child. I'm a priest, a protector of the faith. I swore an oath to do the goddess's will. The Church's teachings seem to have taken over your sense of reason since the last time I saw you. Redica is a heretic, but he's also a human. He's no human! His blood is impure! Prove it, Ashley. Show me he's not a human. You don't mean... There's nothing to be gained from continuing this argument. So it's time for us to... fight? You have a better solution? Well, the next battle. Straight, this one's gonna be a tough one. Um, you should also prepare... To prepare for this battle, you should get items that, are, that can cure confusion, such as the Adrenaline. And of course, we're. And of course, our main adversary here is Ashley. Um, yeah, she is a priest, but she can also hit very hard. She has a very powerful melee attack. It's bludgeoning type. And she also has a couple of companions with her. Of course, Ashley, unlike the last time when we can blitz, this one is gonna be. Would, we would be murdered I'll if we go through it. So we're gonna take the scene crowd and go around. As you see, like when we were fighting Morpheus, we have priests and priestesses. You don't have to worry, these people don't really drop much of anything. The only person who drops anything of any real importance is Ashley. We have the priest who's... Of course these people are weak to most melee attacks, so that's good. We have Glenn. Spirit user. And... He, his crow's beak only hits. He only get one crow's beak, and he already used Accelero, so he's not too bad. Now she is the word of main problems. A Z, she has lots of cures, and she can do pretty powerful attacks. And she'll do Salva, which is a regen. 
Reina, she's a ranger and she uses longbow and she... We won't be dealing with her too much due to later on in the spell since we're going up the right side. Because Glenn is easier to handle. And this is why I said the whole healing confusion. So, let's see how Arena works. Should we get enough of this? Fair amount of damage. Hmm. Very curious indeed. Yes, there's some. There's not too much talking in this battle, but there's still a fair amount. Hey, I mean, it's the only way we can have. I mean, we want longer cutscenes. So far, nothing has really much been happening during this battle. I mean, except for the occasional curing. So let's get rid of this guy finally. Try to get rid of him. Hmm, your scar doesn't do much. Now we finally get this real fighting. Of course. So I think he doesn't retaliate. We gotta speed up so that we'll have to adjust to that. And bleed. There it is. And since it's a physical element, it replaces it to cell row, so he doesn't he's not as fast anymore. But of course we still want to keep Tage away. And let's have okay, I can't count this one. Make sure he has not any more of a problem. Okay, very good. Just a little bit. And his crow's beak, well, he's still. The thing about bleed is that when they move or take an action, or when you attack them, they end up bleeding out damage. That's why bleed is really one of the most useful ones that you can find. Well, most useful stats element to put on somebody. Definitely really works well when you're trying to capture them. Let's see if we can probably get rid of this guy. This is why you don't want to go too fast or you'll get swarmed. So. And yes, yes. You, you want to take your time going through these battles because you don't want to go too fast unless it's a boss battle. Tage explains more about how awesome she is. So let's see. Here's actually this one. Except it didn't work. Mm, yeah, let's not use cool attack. That'll be we'll use that one on our nice little friend up there. And now she's gonna use the friend. Of course when you drop a Oh, that's not good. But don't worry, I killed him up. Just take this guy real quick. Yeah, you don't want your main people confused. Because that just gets really, really bad really quickly. And since we're staying on this side, Ram probably will not join the fight unless we go pretty much past this area. You might want to pull her in after you want to try to get some more experience. Almost there. Yeah. Now he'll come in. 
Oh, well. Eh. No, I never scarred. And she's confused. And she's confused too. That's great. I'm not so much worried about that those two confused is the fact that they won't do much damage. Well, it seems like we're going to have to continue this battle next time on Eternal Poison.